Today, I'm going to show you a simple way that you can make external buttons for your keyboard. Start by finding a spare keyboard and opening it up. Inside, you'll find several sheets of plastic. On the top and bottom sheets, there's a series of dots that are connected to the circuit board. These are the contacts for each key. To activate a key with an external switch, we need to connect a wire to each of the two contacts for that key. The easiest way to do this is to take the exposed end of the wire and tape it directly to the contacts. If it isn't sticking well, you can use a paper clip to help hold it in place. To route the wires outside the keyboard, I cut a small slot in the edge of the housing that was just big enough for the wires. Now, when you touch the other ends of the wires together, the computer should register that the key was pressed. If everything is working, then you're ready to add the switch. I chose to use the switch from a large push light. The only problem was that this switch latches so that it stays on after you press it. So I used a knife to pry open the housing of the switch, then I removed the latching pin. This turned it into a momentary switch. Then I carefully put the switch back together. To connect the switch to the keyboard, first I cut the wires that used to connect the switch to the light. Then I soldered the wires from the switch to the wires from the keyboard. To insulate the connections, you can wrap them in tape or use heat shrink tubing. Now just reassemble the housing and you're ready to try it out. When you press the button, the computer should register the keystroke. The only downside of this design is that you won't be able to use that key on the keyboard. So in most cases, you'll want to have one keyboard for typing and a second keyboard for the external switches. Now you just need to find a few creative ways to use your new external keyboard buttons. You can make foot pedals for gaming, or you could just use it to scroll through Reddit. Thanks for watching, and check back soon for more DIY hacks and how-tos.